going on everyone? Movie Game Guy here, back with a new movie review Monday video for you guys. Um, today I'll be talking about the horror classic Dark Knight of the Scarecrow, released in 1981, directed by Frank D. Felitta, and um, obviously it's uh, starring Larry Drake, uh, Tanya Crown, uh, Charles uh, Durning. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, really, really uh, enjoy this uh, uh, made-for-TV horror flick. Um, very, very awesome. Um, basically, Larry Drake plays this uh, mentally disabled guy. He's like 31, 32 or something like that. And uh, he hangs out with like little kids because his mindset is in the same kind of realm as little kids. And basically, uh, him and this little girl are hanging out. And you know, they go like wandering around this uh, neighborhood. And this uh, little girl sees him between these like, fence, uh, these fence posts. You know, um, like you know, random stuff in the yard, and she's all you know curious about it, so she goes in to check it out. And uh, Larry Jerk's character, uh, his name in the film is Bubba Ritter. Um, basically, it's like, no, no, we shouldn't do this. Uh, it's not good. Bubba, don't go in the yard or whatever like that. And she, the uh, little girl, you know, whose curiosity kills the cat, she went in, and uh, there's like a Doberman or whatever in there, like you know, guarding the place. This dog, and you know, I guess attacks her, and um. Larry Drake tries to bring uh bring her to the, you know and carries her to like, you know the mom or whatever like that and everyone assumes in the town that he's a creep or whatever for hanging out with kids so um they think that he's the one that hurt and like killed the little girl so a bunch of these vigilantes from the town you know the postman and like you know some like auto mechanic uh, stuff like that people like that um all like um and some guy that like works in some kind of grain or something like that uh has some milk. Um, all get together and they um, go and they try to uh, find this guy and you know they talk to uh, Larry Drake's uh, mother in this movie and she ends up you know telling him that he's not there and there's nothing going on you know leave my boy alone like he can't do anything he's just like everyone else you know he he hangs out little kids because he's uh, his mindset's like a little kid and basically uh, they go uh, and they keep searching and they, they have these two hounds with them that uh sniff him out, he's, I guess, in a scarecrow, and they end up just, you know, going and shooting him straight, you know, I think, like, 21 times, and, you know, uh, he takes his revenge, and, uh, night, and he goes around, and he, um, it's more of, like, you know, an entity, I think, type thing, where he, like, you know, um, you know, kills these people to get his revenge, but it doesn't really show until the end, which I'm not gonna ruin, like, you know, basically, like, you know, what happens, I'm still a little confused by it, but, um, not really confused, but like, you know, uh, the way they went at it, I don't know, it was a little uh, peculiar, but I, I really liked it. I, I really, really, uh, really like this movie. It's released by uh, VCI. It's uh, spun number uh, 9007. And this thing comes, this uh, Blu-ray comes with new production documentary, a new Q&A with Larry Drake, uh, Tanya Crown, and J.D. Uh, Fegelson, Fegelson, uh, new rebroadcast promo new behind the scene photo gallery, director and writer commentary, CBS Network uh, world premiere promo, and English and Spanish subtitles. It's very cool. One thing that I didn't like about this was that it was, um, you know, it's an HD uh, 16 by 9 and presented on a 131, but, I don't know, it, the screen wasn't as, uh, it wasn't like all full widescreen, which was kind of sad, took me away from a little bit, but, you know, it wasn't enough to like, make me not want to uh, watch it, but it was cool. I definitely uh, recommend it. I got to give this thing a, a four out of five stars. I definitely liked it. If you guys haven't seen Dark Knight of the Scarecrow, uh, definitely check it out. It's a very good uh, made-for-TV gem. I uh, I really liked it, at least. And, uh, yeah, that'll do it for this movie review Monday. Thanks, guys, for watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. You guys' thoughts on the movie. If you guys could uh, elaborate, you know, a better uh, idea of what was going on throughout the whole, like, you know, thing with the murders, that would be cool. And, um, yeah, let me know if you guys liked it or not. And definitely uh, tune in next week for another uh, Movie Review Monday. And uh, I'll talk to you guys then.